Okay, so this is the uh, this is the spinal column. This is the spinal cord. These are the bodies of the uh, vertebrae. So these are going to be anterior, and the spinous processes are posterior. All right. So that means that these horns of the gray matter are, if, if this is anterior, this is the ventral horns here and here. These are lateral horns outside of it, and these would only be found from T1 to L2. And then this is the dorsal horn that's going to be sensory. So this thing that's coming out of the sides of each one, there's 31 pair of them, is a spinal nerve and it would contain both motor and sensory fibers. Those motor, the motor fibers are exiting from the ventral horn and they would be associated with this front piece right here. That's the ventral root. And then the incoming sensory information would go through this same nerve through unipolar sensory neurons and in through the dorsal root ganglia, which is this bulb, the bulb right there, and it's coming into the dorsal horn of the gray matter, usually ascending up into the brain through tracks, ascending tracks, and then coming back down and, and either stimulating an outgoing sympathetic response from the lateral horn from the lateral horn or from the vent and, and those all of the sympathetic pathways that are motor will be exiting through the ventral horn coming out in three ways and um, targeting organs smooth muscle cardiac muscle and glands okay so as they come out the three pathways for exiting with the lateral horns sympathetic response would be to come out, go through the ventral ramus, okay, it would go out around through this, which is the white rami communicantes, through and synapse in the chain ganglia, and then come through the gray communicantes, and out through this spinal nerve targeting a specific organ at the same level. Okay. Um, an alternative to that would be to come out, go through the same path, and not synapse in the chain ganglia. It would go out through the white ramus into the chain, and not it wouldn't synapse there with the postganglionic neuron. It would continue through white and go up and synapse in one above or one below. Right, and then it would its synapse would be in the chain and go above or below into those organs. Okay, the alternative to the third alternative is to come out directly, go through the white ramus communicantes, and then through the chain ganglia and down and, and synapse in a splanchnic nerve or terminal uh, or intramural ganglia. Okay, notice what's missing from this model is the